Hello everyone and welcome to Cherub Teaching Center. My name is Poonam and I am a Microsoft Certified Educator. Today in this next episode of Fixing Errors in Excel, I am going to bring in one of the most important things which you people have to keep it in mind once you will be working on the Excel sheet. Because if you do not take care of this Excel error, whatever data you are going to save, that will all the advanced setting, it will not be saved altogether. Okay, now those viewers who are watching my channel who have not watched the previous episode of fixing errors in Excel, towards the end of the error you will see an eye icon. You can click on the eye icon and you can watch the previous videos as well. Okay, so let's start over people. So one of the most important thing that I will be training you in order to fix this error, I will keep this video a little bit short so that you may go yourself and start exploring about this thing in the Excel as well. Now what happens is when we are working on an Excel sheet on our computer, sometime the version of Excel that you are using and the person who is going to share the Excel sheet with you, they might differ. Any which ways in case if it is there is a difference that is of the versions of the Excel file. Let's say that someone has shared the Excel sheet with you either on web or on email and the version of your Excel and that's version they do not match. For example, if I say that my office is 2019 and someone is going to share with me an Excel of the previous version. If I see this error, you can see that I have already uploaded the video and I'm going to show you this error live as well. This is how it looks like. You will be able to see the thing which is compatibility mode. If you are seeing this error on your Excel sheet, it is my humble request. Please go ahead and fix this error first. Otherwise, whatever advanced setting you are going to do it on your Excel sheet, they will not be, you know, saved. For example, the text formatting, the color formatting, everything, and along with other things as well, they are not going to be saved. So I would request you to please go ahead and fix this error first and then start working on an Excel sheet. So let me just show you this error live. So this is how the Excel sheet looks like, people, and this is what the error I was talking about. Please Please be very very cautious about the compatibility mode in Excel. You have to fix this compatibility mode. You have to bring it to the normal Excel mode first of all and then you should always work on the Excel and otherwise as I am already telling you again and again all the advanced things that you are going to save it in your Excel sheet your entire work will go in waste that is they are not going to be saved otherwise. So let me just tell you how we people are going to fix this error as well. So in order to fix up this error, we need to go to the file version. So this is the file that is uh, option or the tab that you people see in an Excel file. You have to click on this file tab first. So the moment you will be clicking on the file tab, there would be another page which would open. So the moment you will click on the file tab, this is the page that will come up in front of you people. The next thing that you people are going to do is, let me just show you that as well. Just give me one moment. Okay, so the moment you click on this uh, file tab, the next thing that you people need to click is called that this is info. So you will be clicking on this info option. So once you have clicked on the info option people, this is what you people are going to see. Okay, and this is how you people have to convert the compatibility mode to the normal mode altogether people. So I'm just going to tell you in a short while and that's the next option that you people need to click. So as I've already said, so the next thing that you people will be doing is you will be clicking on this convert tab. So once again I'm saying click on the file tab, then you have to click on the info tab and then you have to compo uh, you know, uh, convert this compatibility mode to the normal mode. Please do not work on the compatibility mode as I'm saying this otherwise your uh, entire work will go in waste. Okay, the advanced setting that you people are trying to do. And as it is already warning you as well in compatibility mode, some of the new features they are disabled to prevent the problem when working with the previous versions of the office. And this error will only come when there is a difference in the versions of the office that you people are working on. So you have to click on this convert option people. Alright, so that's the next thing that you people have to do. You need to click on this convert tab. Alright, the moment you will click on the convert tab, it is going to give you a short, you know, uh, a reading message, something like this. This is the pop-up window that would come up in front of you. So as it is already stated that this action is going to convert the wor workbook to the current file format, that is what we actually needed. And you have to people then you next uh, the thing that you have to do is you will be converting it on OK. And then there would be a second pop-up box that would come up in front of you, something like this people, that the work uh, book conversion is completed successfully and then you have to click on yes. 
so now you people can see that my compatibility error is gone okay that compatibility mode option that was coming because I have MS Office 2019 on my computer and maybe the the person who has shared with me this file that has saved uh, shared with me this file on another version of office so this is what we people are going to do it and we need to fix up this error in order to avoid any that advanced setting that I'm going to do it on my file or my excel file altogether so people please ensure it that you need to fix this compatibility mode error first please fix this er issue first the compatibility mode error and then you people can go ahead and do your work on the excel and whatever new advanced setting you will be saying that would be saved in the automatically uh, on the excel file whenever you people are going to click on the save option and those viewers who are watching my channel and who have not subscribed to my channel yet I would request you to please quickly go ahead and subscribe to Cherub Teaching Center there are more things that are coming up your way in case of any queries you can approach me anytime on my Instagram ID which is cherub.teaching.center you can also approach me on my Facebook ID which is Cherub Teaching Center and you can also approach me on my Microsoft Team ID which is Cherubians altogether and you can find the description of all these three follow up link in the description of this video altogether so thank you so much people have a nice day ahead